15 years. So I just switched to 18 inch T Sport line wheels with Michelin Pilot Sport All Seasons in the 2024 Tesla Model 3 Highland Performance. I've got my trusty draggy here, so let's go out and see if this affected zero to 60 performance at all. So I've charged the car up to 100%. I put in my closest supercharger and I've been running the climate for about 45 minutes. This should give me the best possible zero to 60 times, even though it's a little cold at 50 degrees right now. So these are the wheels and tires I'm running. They're the Michelin Pilot Sport All Season 235 45 18, stock size on the T Sport Line 18 inch flow forged wheels. These are one of the few 18 inch wheels that will clear the calipers on the Performance Model 3. Okay, so I turned climate off. I went out to the flattest spot I could find and I ripped off a couple launches. This one's valid with less than 1% negative slope, 3.2 seconds to 60 without one foot removed, and 2.9 seconds to 60 with one foot rollout. Here's another valid run I did with a little bit more positive slope, 5%. And I got 3.1 seconds without rollout and 2.9 seconds with rollout subtracted. Now with the stock 20 inch forged warp wheels, it's able to get 3.04 seconds without rollout subtracted or 2.82 seconds with one foot rollout subtracted. So there you go. In this case, 18 inch square stance with the Michelin Pilot Sport All Seasons was not any faster than the 20 inch staggered stance with the Pirelli P0. Now I weighed both wheels. I weighed the rear wheel and tire, which should be the heaviest on this car with the 20 inch and then the 18 inch and they were within a pound of each other. So these new warp wheels are forged. They weigh a little bit less. So the zero to 60 time is a little bit better. The P0 Summit tires are definitely a little bit stickier than the Michelin Pilot all seasons, but in this temperature, they're probably pretty close to even. Remember to like and subscribe for more videos about Tesla, Rivian, Wi-Fi, and tech products.